Hi guys and welcome back to the Backstage Bikini Podcast with your host Grace and Jade and we have a special guest on this very special episode. We are doing the 2023 Olympia predictions. I cannot believe it has come around again. It honestly just feels like the last year has flown by but we have a special guest Rachel Simons on the podcast today and she's also a listener so we couldn't wait to have somebody on who was really passionate about the sport, but also is a listener of the podcast and a big, big fan. So Rachel, thank you so, so much for coming on. How are you keeping? Thank you so much. Yeah, I am doing really well. This is incredible. I have listened to the podcast since you ladies started doing it. I am a huge bikini geek. So this is just a fun, fun uh, end of the day treat for me to be involved. Absolutely. I think it's it's been so nice, Rachel, because you've, you've interacted so much with the podcast anyway. We've got to know you through the podcast as well. So it's bit, it's actually nice to see your face and talk to you as well, because I think we're, we're so removed sometimes from people listening. Um, so it's actually really nice just to have you on. And I know you're an avid bikini athlete. You're two weeks post-show now, right? Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. So I competed at the Gymshark Ryan Terry British oh, Finals. Yeah. The yeah. long, uh, long old story or whatever they're calling that. So yeah, two weeks post show now. Um, it's been an interesting couple of weeks. Unfortunately, I did get ill. So I've been dealing with the weird post show feelings on top of being really ill, but getting through it now. So hopefully on the up. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, massive well done on your, on your first season. Like it's not easy at all, but come here, you're heading off to Florida tomorrow um I wasn't yeah. aware of that until literally 10 minutes before this podcast so you're going to be seeing them in the flesh and you also saw them last year which I'd say was absolutely incredible but how are you feeling about this year's Olympia off the back of seeing it last year so I feel like last year was quite like everyone was like who's gonna take it it was quite up in the air I think we all were everyone last year really thought Laura Lee was taking it so I kind of went into it last year genuinely thinking she was going to win when that didn't happen it was quite a big shock but this year I just feel like so many contenders have come through Mm -hmm. um so many like names I didn't know so many names I did know but people have kind of like moved up the ranks I feel like lots of the ladies are looking incredible so this year I'm just like what is gonna happen I'm so excited such a lineup it really really is I had to say I found it quite difficult um picking mine today um I think this is the most I know we say it every year but like (laughs) this is the most competitive now we don't have Jeanette in it this year but I still think the lineup is just ridiculous considering like you said the last year and contenders coming up that I kind of didn't really expect um mm. shocked a lot of people you know so um it'll be interesting Jade what are your what are your I, thoughts? yeah I can't wait there's a few that aren't the typical if you like like there's there's the girls that have been up there for that are w- women ladies who have been up there for quite some time now and they do they they bring their very best like every single year and it's it's hairlines between those girls, but there's the likes of, I don't want to name drop too soon, but Ariana Brothers, who mm-hmm. is coming through. Um, even Ivy, looking at Ivy's check-ins recently that she shared on Instagram as well. Fill mm-hmm. that frame out and she looks like Maureen from the back. And it's they have a scary, scarily similar sort of physique as well. So I think this year especially, it, it's all to, all to take. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. all to go for. Like I think if any one of the girls come off um off if they come mm-hmm. in a little bit too hard we've seen it with the lineup last year as well some of the bigger names shuffled down towards the bottom end of that top 10 so yeah I think it's all to play for this year yeah it really is and Raywana is somebody that also is kind of springing to mind just how the last few shows have gone for her um so yeah we will get into it yeah. but um we have 52 qualified athletes this year is wow. this less this is a big uh, it, was it 56 last year 56 yeah. yeah do you know what I don't think Ashley I know Ashley did do a lot of shows but I don't think she did as much blocking and I don't think no. a lot of the athletes did and I know that was, was the plan but they also mm-hmm. removed obviously the points system as well uh, yeah. which I thought was going to bring that number down but um yeah no it's interesting to still see 52 qualified athletes again it's probably yeah. more than any other class isn't it so um it's huge, huge. competitive yeah yeah, really, really Huge. is. 
But I mean, looking at that list, there's so many that stand out. I mean, even um, like Tara Greer, again, had has had a great season. Jessica Wilson, she won the mm. um, the Masters Olympia, didn't she? Yeah. Um, and then Jordan Fisher, she's just taken yeah. a win as well. So there's so many of them in there that have really shown up. And they, they've been competing against some of the bigger girls as well, like some of the yeah. bigger names in, in yeah. the division. So it'll be, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, and Jordan was it Jordan Brannan that that beat uh, Phoebe last week, yes. uh, which was real, real shock. And it's you know yeah. I remember Jordan's season last year. I really kept up to date with it, and she wasn't. She really, really struggled to get mm. qualified last year. I think she actually qualified maybe on points or in the very, very last show. So yeah. to see her beat Phoebe last week, who is what seventh, um, yeah. it's just making things really, really interesting, mm. um, as well. So yeah, incredible, incredible lineup. Um, and a few of the European girls in there as well, which I'm excited to see kind of how they stand. I think that's always interesting seeing how the the European girls end up over yeah. there because there might be a lot of hype around them here. Um, but it's a different ball game, isn't it? When yeah, you stand on that Olympia stage, so um, yeah, cool. We will get into it. So, going through obviously last year's results, we have first place Maureen, big big fan. She came on the pod. Um, second Jen. Third Ashley, fourth Daraja. I know you're a big, big fan of of Daraja Jade, so I'm looking forward to obsessed. To hear you think. Obsessed. <laughs> Honestly, that girl must be so tired of seeing my DMs. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're such a Daraja fan. Um, fifth Lorley, sixth Amy. I am probably Amy's biggest fan. Um, we have Phoebe Jeanette, who is not in it this year. Isa, who has made some epic, epic improvements, but it'd be interesting to see what you think of that. Um, and Romina as well. Mm-hmm. who's always kind of in the mix um yeah. so sorry i think i went on to my predictions there <laughs> we've on youtube <laughs> there, that little <laughs> sneak jump in ahead close your eyes <laughs> but, <laughs> um so do you want to start off rachel who do you think is i suppose going well what we'll do is we'll actually go through no we'll go through what you think what you think of your, yeah, is uh-huh. your top five Okay, so I know this is now different to your ladies, as we've just said, but um, I think Laura Lee is going to take it this year. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think just based on um, how I've seen her looking mm-hmm. and how she's acted through this prep, I feel like her biggest downfall is like the mindset and stressing. Mm-hmm. I think she is her own worst enemy. Like I was listening. I don't know if you've heard her and Phoebe's um, latest. Podcast podcast this week where she's talking about you know she will basically like force herself to eat nothing do loads and loads of cardio and that obviously just makes her look not great whereas this Mm -hmm. year it seems like she's a bit more on it so Mm -hmm. I think she's good she's got a good chance this year if she keeps herself calm Mm -hmm. confident goes into it Mm -hmm. so Laura Lee's my number one um number two for me is Maureen she just looks insane like she posted a video of herself the other day <laughs> it's like this is my uh my oh. notification to do five years of off season <laughs> yeah oh my god because back to the gym for another eight hours <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm just gonna go hip thrust <laughs> from my sofa <laughs> yep, I think the like bubble I, I, I've yeah. seen nobody carry I mean well actually that's a lie because Laura Lee is very bubbly like especially when she's full um but Maureen I've never seen a flat no and, uh, but this is the thing is, and this is where I think my opinions come in for first and second is I don't think she can do wrong. Whereas Laura Lee, like there's a lot of things to juggle with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just don't think Maureen can ever really get it, get it wrong. Like, look at this. It's just like, like what Adam said, like it is the prettiest muscle I think you'll see yeah. on that Olympia stage. Yeah. She is insane in person as well. Like when I saw her posing on the stage, um, uh, so I was in the like, you have to go into like a special bit for um, pre-judging and like the seated bit is VIP and I did sneak in there. Olympia, please don't tell me off doing that, oh, but I, I got snuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just, wow. Just, honestly, just yeah. seeing her come out. She's quite close to the um, front of the lineup because they do it alphabetically, surname. And mm. when she came out, I was just like, <laughs> with mm. this speechless. Just, yeah. she's insane. And um, I met her at the athletes meet and greet and she's, so nice she's the most down to earth I think person Mm -hmm. and athlete and especially having had that those conversations with her I think her mindset going back to Laura Lee and the mindset difference I think for Maureen from her mouth she's very much like that's her time 
that's her stage time. Whereas I guess Laura Lee's been up there and in the limelight that little bit longer. So I, whether the pressure gets to her a little bit more, perhaps, um, can't remember, can't imagine stepping back on stage as, as your former Miss Bikini Olympia the, the year prior, that must come with some pressure all by itself. But um, she just seems very stoic in yeah. her sort of whole competing sort of approach and how she how she applies herself to it. Um, I mean, interestingly, going back to Laura Lee as well, I think we commented last year, Grace, about her doing the Arnold's and then um, sort of trying to maintain that look for, for throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Whereas Laura Lee, we haven't seen anything of her apart from yeah. what she's chose to share this year. So mm-hmm. I think she'll be coming in fresh. Uh, her mind yeah. will be fresh. Her body will be fresh like so it'll be very interesting to see how she shows up and compares against Maureen I think Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and even just noting this this glute progress there as well like um huge huge density in that side shot as well and I I I just personally think that I do think she could take it again Mm. um but yeah sorry go back to yours before we go in and have a big L debate (laughs) <laughs> this is the fun of it but yeah I yeah. was I'm really between those two like mm. they are both incredible like I think we all know Laura Lee's glutes boring just, just lo- looks like that so there we go I'm yeah I feel like it's between them two and then third for me is Jen Jen Dory I am obsessed with her physique and she is also a really sweet person yeah. um she's just so cute and I really like that her styling is a bit different like, obviously she keeps the curly hair I think that makes her stand out a little bit more mm-hmm. um yeah I do really like Jen the one thing I would say is her face comes in very very lean um it didn't so much when she won a couple of years ago but last year and this year her cheeks have really come in quite lean um you can kind of see it in the pictures that she's posted recently I don't know if that's something that would maybe hurt her and make the judges think that potentially she's like taking it a step too far yeah. yeah 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 Because those are the things that matter, really. I mean, I look back at my own, not that I'm any comparison to these ladies at the minute, but I look back at my own, like last season, and my face was just gone. And it is, it's about exuding that, in air quotes, we talk about it all the time. It's that healthy sort of feminine look. That's what's so important about bikini. And they're pulling so far away now from the over-dieted, the the harder looks. They're trying to pull it back. So those are the types of things and she's got quite a profound sort of jaw structure anyway Jen yeah so it it can be the difference of a pound I guess of body Mm -hmm. weight for her the difference between her having that healthy look in her face and her skin and things like that versus looking tired but she's another one that's coming in very fresh hasn't competed all year Mm -hmm. so it'll be interesting yeah 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 her her facial structure I think is is naturally like that as well um but I think she's made again, I know I said this last year, but I think her upper body is looking quite full again this year mm-hmm. with the improvements that she'd made. Um, I know that the struggle last year was that she was probably a little bit too hard, you know, when you're standing next to the likes of Maureen, who's coming in a little bit softer. Um, mm-hmm. So it's probably a tricky one for her to get right, you know, to find that that balance between being too lean, but also being like bubbly. Because I know the year prior, 2021, she was too soft. I think that was her her feedback. So it'll be really, really interesting to see how they approach things this year. But her upper body is looking jacked. I think it was when I saw this video, I was like, what the hell? Um, yeah. and her waist is tiny. So that frame on stage will be uh pretty, pretty epic. But um she definitely yeah, looked int- harder last year. Mm. Definitely looked drier. Um, mm-hmm. like through the upper body as well, you could really see it. Um, whereas here now I mean the things that she's sharing at the moment I don't know how recent they are how close they are to her sort of final stage look but she doesn't look over dieted not even close I actually do remember a check or a photo that she did last year with her arm she was doing like a a side tricep Mm -hmm. and it looked like um a women's physique competitor I don't know do you remember that shot like like everyone blew up over it yeah actually probably harmed her so um it looks like she's got the balance this year um but uh no interesting have her in your top three she's not in uh she's not in my top three this year personally but Mm -hmm. um she is one of my faves so lovely and the moment where she came out last year on the olympia actually the final stage with the like smoke and everything it was so cool and i think they were playing they were playing beyonce or something i can't remember what it was but honestly like they're like goddesses up there i can imagine goddesses 
I can't. Here we are, like picking the the hairs, <laughs> like their literal perfection. The literal <laughs> gods. They are gods. They are our gods. And we're just we like nitpicking, to trying to. They find really the are. Balls. They really are. She's <laughs> insane. Go to but bed. Yeah, oh, big, big fan of Jen. Stop. Um, and then number four for me is Amy. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, somebody whose physique, oh, she's just my made God, for it. Like, yeah, yeah, just insane. I don't think this is her year personally. I think she still needs to develop a little bit more um I think the one thing with me for her and like I hate saying this but I do feel like she has got a little bit more of a blockier waist and I think maybe like developing parts of her physique or you know working on something to do with that you know I don't know I'm not an expert but something like vacuums maybe whatever Mm -hmm. she doesn't need to listen to me because of who she is but you know Mm -hmm. I think that might hurt her I still think she'll do really well but I think when she can kind of Whereas in that blue there, her waist looks a lot smaller. So I don't know if yeah, it's like Yeah, I more... actually think that's um that's an old an older one. Yeah, yeah she has. Pro, I'm pretty JP sure she. One. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she. Well, she put up her transformation not long ago. Actually, it was this year, and um, because the feedback was about a waistline, um, I can't remember whether it was New York or Pittsburgh because she competed quite earlier on at the start of the year, um, mm-hmm. but I know that they have been making improvements on a waistline because of that, because it was getting a little bit thicker. Um, and when you're coming up uh, against the likes of Jen Dory, like her waist must be what, 20 inches, 22 max. It's it's mm-hmm. tiny, tiny. Um, so when you're coming up against athletes like that, as, as wild as Amy's proportions are, she's got a really like sort of wide top line. Um, and she's got the glutes to really give her that density across like a hip line. But you come up against the other athletes and if you've got a thicker waist, it's going to hurt you. Yeah. Because it's so funny, deep. like looking at it here, it doesn't look that big. But like no. you said, comparing probably to the rest of them when they're standing on stage, it, it probably does stand out. And because she's a shorter individual, do you yeah. know, if maybe she was like, you know, Phoebe Hagen, a little bit taller and spread out, wouldn't look as bad. But she is one of the short ones. And I think when you are that high, you need to make sure that your waist is in yeah you know otherwise like you said you do just look very very blocky because mm-hmm. taller people can probably get away with it a little bit more um, well you're elongated aren't you like you've yeah. got like you say you've got an extra couple of inches the likes of phoebe i think phoebe's about well she's five seven i think phoebe mm-hmm. she's quite taller um uh, but i know like amy maureen um i think jen's a little bit taller ivy they're all very similar sort of five mm-hmm. five one five two max and it's it does it's at the end of the day when you pack muscle on a frame like that as well whilst you might need less muscle mass um mm. to actually fill out your frame same applies like everything grows and everything yeah. will look that bit more condensed and thicker just because it's a shorter shorter space i guess but yeah yeah, yeah. amy yeah. I, I adore her i think i think with more maturity in the sport cuz she's brand new as well like it's she she's flew to the top absolutely flown mm. to the top like overnight um so she's yeah she's one of my favorites without a doubt but I definitely think she'll break that top five without fail mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah I agree I don't I agree I, I think she will be Miss Bikini Olympia you know, yeah one day sure. yeah, like, yeah. she is insane mm. and I mean I know a lot of people sort of talk about her glutes and like they think they're overpowering but I actually disagree I think when you look at her Yes, okay, you look at her glutes because they are insane, but don't we do that with all bikini girls? Like most of them, you're like, oh, wow. Mm. I think her top line and her glutes are relatively balanced. I, I personally like her physique. Like I know a few people have been like, oh, she's bikini wellness. I'm like, no, mm. no, no. If you saw no. those wellness ladies next to her, like it is. Whole, yeah, I mean, and she even, said, just, she even said herself, beasts. like the, the feedback that she got from the top judges, like nobody said anything you know About so you have to yeah. nobody said anything when, when she came on and that's why I loved having these conversations as it kind of breaks the idea of everybody being like okay she her quads are too big it's like no she got the feedback like I'm sure her and uh, her coach are well aware of what what they need to do so um yeah no well, she I agree I think winning. it's much better that's it yeah that's she it. wouldn't be winning with Laura Lee. yeah yeah simply put I mean they are don't get me wrong that each body is different as well like if, if you look at every single one of these bodies next to each other every single one is different that's the that's the beauty of the division anyway but they are the embodiment of that division criteria in their own body so that's always going to look different anyway you can't as much as we are in 
the sport where you're comparing them like for like it's apples oranges it's it's a fruit bowl at the end of the day like you're, they're never going to be identical um but I think with her frame even looking at the videos that you just played there Grace when she actually turned pro um she, she still has the same structure the structure is the same all she's done is put muscle on on in the right areas yeah so, and in a very short space of time as well like that was what three years Mm -hmm. she got her pro card sorry in 2021 so it hasn't even been two years and she's already looking at kind of maybe cracking the top five so give it another two and like you said Rachel she probably will be um she probably will be there I know she's aiming for top three this year that she mentioned on the the podcast we had said top five and she was like no no top three (laughs) okay (laughs) I don't want to say it anymore (laughs) going for it oh I'm hopeful for her yeah she's so yeah. lovely and obviously her being a mum as well like it, I think she's just yes. pro- a really good ambassador for the sport and like shows a lot of other women that you don't need to like stop doing something just because you have children or you know let anything hold you back so yeah I yeah really really resonate with her and I think she's insane if only my glutes would grow <laughs> the same rate, right <laughs> goddamn genetics yeah <laughs> damn you glutes grow um <laughs> And then the last one is Daraja. So Mm. I also have a big soft spot for her. I love her physique. I just, like, when I see her, I'm just like, wow. Mm. Um, Another person that to me that has a big, like, wow factor on the stage. I think her posing is really lovely. I always think her styling comes in really nice. Um, I know, obviously, a few people have been a bit, oh, wow, you know, she's not coming that well for shows this year. And I think her and Paul work so well together yeah. to kind mm-hmm. of deliver like part of a package to like mm-hmm. the earlier shows and then dig and deliver for like the biggest show and the Olympia. And I think last year is testament to that. So mm-hmm. although I do think a couple of the other women maybe have jumped ahead just because of like, you know, Amy is Amy. I do still think Daraja is going to come in that top five because I just think yeah, seeing her photo, she's just wow I agree I, I think it would be hard for her to I don't think she'd be going down a placing from last year anyway no and um, that's first because she's only gotten better and better and you know the more shows she does the more data she collects and she just keeps getting better with mm. that you know I do think she's quite unstoppable in that sense um but Jade you're you're her number I, one yeah fan. I absolutely probably... <laughs> adore her yeah I'm literally just go up in at the video like huh. um no I I love her shape like I think for for an athlete as well, like I again, she's she's one that I've seen come in softer. I have seen her come in softer, um, and I agree with you, Rachel. I think it's intentional. I think her and her and Paul have got her body down to the penny. Like they know exactly how it responds, and she can have quite a lot of difficulty. She's been open about her PCOS and the fact that she struggles hormonally. Sometimes it can be um, difficulties with the cycle that might impact, like sort of the gut or like just her ability to sort of pull that that fat off sometimes but I do think their every move is very intentional every move and her stage presence as well on stage I think that's unmatched as well I mean Maureen's one that really takes my breath away as well um but I think Deiraja the way she carries herself is really beautiful and it it, that plus the body the structure it's Mm -hmm. undeniable like she's another one that I can see winning the title one day um because she just gets better and better all of the, all of the time and i don't think her and paul have ever made an unintentional move and that is a dangerous um sort of duo to to yeah. have to have an athlete that you are that in tuned with um and that you know how they respond and exactly what you're showing up with all of the time it's it's, it's a dangerous mix for sure oh, yeah. so she'll be she'll be knocking on people's doors for sure if she turns up the way that they intend her to then mm-hmm. yeah but it's it's a structure for me glutes yeah. I, she, she reminds me a lot of amy really in that like sort of really wide um or that really like uh sort of broad top line but then yeah. she's got that glute fullness from the side and from the front um yeah stunning yeah she is incredibly really stunning honestly um yeah fabulous I, I'm thinking of her back shot now I think I'm, like when you kind of look at her back and this is just me kind of nitpicking when it comes to the physiques like I do find that her her tie-ins are really really low yeah and I find that that you know when you're up against like the lower leaves where they're a little bit higher and denser mm-hmm. it does kind of stand out I don't know if you think for the for the right or wrong reasons I do think her her back shot looks very very different to the rest of them 
it's a lot I mean? yeah it's longer isn't it so her glute itself is actually longer mm. the tie-in's longer whereas when it's that little bit shorter especially from sort of the like the bubbly look from the back having that muscle for like that glute fullness from the back um can be more difficult because it's it's yeah. a it's a longer obviously you can't change that you can't yeah. change that you know you're obviously yeah. just filling the best but I'm just thinking when it comes to the lineup that's what where what my eyes kind of draw to is that yeah. kind of she stands out in that sense but I think her her front shot as well and like you said her stage stage presence are just unmatched like yeah. her posing is just so flawless and effortless it honestly just looks like she woke up like that yeah. where some people it just looks very very forced um yeah. but she's beautiful honestly she is like a like a literal goddess as well mm-hmm. um so I'm excited to see what they pull out of the back because when was her last show again was it not that long ago recently uh yeah. oh she won it she didn't did. she was it, was it battle, battle of the bodies, bodies. yeah it was yeah, yeah. battle of janet Lokes, uh battle of the bodies yeah yeah i mean Jordan like looking Mac at that actually tight. there she uh, is that wings of strength uh, yeah, yeah it's tighten up a little tighten bit up. um big, she looks quite full there and her glutes um a a bigger compared to the pictures that we were just looking at um probably because she's got that little bit more body body weight on there like especially in that pose Mm -hmm. but she can get that lower tie-in really in yeah because there you can see it's just not quite the detail I know they're not going for the full tie-in I know they're going against that but this is this is the the Olympia 90% of these girls are going to come in with full tie-ins or it, it's just inevitable because they the the muscle mass there the separations undeniable really it's it's hard mm-hmm. to avoid really without spilling them over but yeah yeah there you go. so that was your fifth place was it yeah Rachel top five yeah that's awesome. what I'm gonna go for awesome, debated awesome, awesome. over it so yeah I know you'll be <laughs> here all day probably changing your mind tomorrow <laughs> as the check ins come out you're like oh my god <laughs> I yeah, said I on the podcast no change my mind because you want to be mm-hmm. the winner don't you you want to get them all right. <laughs> I know. It's, it's really difficult honestly you just don't know how people are gonna look on the day no is mad. but um no. jade where is your head at there is it similar to to rachel's yeah very similar but i i can't i mean she's not my favorite physique not not because she's not got a beautiful physique um but just simply because i have a different frame to her therefore the the things that i i aspire to achieve from a body standpoint i i go more towards the likes of maureen amy that kind of thing um, mm-hmm. but i don't think we can write out ashley in in the top five um purely because she's just too consistent She's mm-hmm. another one where her and Adam have got her dialed in. She knows exactly how to show up. Um, so I think Ashley is going to be, it, it'll be interesting because you can bet your life if she's not in that top five, it'll be all oh, bikinis going more muscular, this, that, and the other, yeah. because a lot of these girls have got a lot of muscle mass on their frame. Mm-hmm. And so it'll be an interesting move to see if she is in that top five um, yeah. based on everybody's feedback then and their their, their interpretation of the, the sport. Because, we, we saw it with Issa. Issa won and then everybody started flaring the lats and tried getting crazy tapers. So, um, but I do think she is incredibly consistent. And mm. if she brings that fuller look, I mean, we've seen her manipulate her physique so much over time. Um, you can she's she's never off in terms of condition, but if you get no. her full, she can stand against the likes of Laura Lee from the back and the likes of Amy from the back. We've watched her do it. Yeah. Whether that will get her in the top three, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I don't think we can discount her really because she's she's a firm favorite, like she always mm. shows up. Absolutely. So it'll be a difficult one. Um, but then again, like Ariana Brothers, very similar structure to Amy Delgado. I think perhaps a little bit more development in her top line might be needed. Mm-hmm. She's got very full glutes from the back, but that is that is the trend at the moment that that the fullness from the back from most of these athletes is just yeah it really is I think Ashley needs to turn up full and she needs to be full as a house otherwise she's not going to stand against them she looks full in this checking video I have to say whether that's fullness or just like size but I know she doesn't commit to an all season so it must be fullness let's not not talk about that 
<laughs> so it's just all fullness then with, with the carbs yeah <laughs> but um, I think this is a really really good look now what mm. I do find and Adam had touched on very well is like check-ins on Instagram and what we see here is very very different to what we see on stage yeah um, and I always do find that with Ashley is like I see her check-ins and I'm like oh my god this is the best Ashley she's gonna do really really well and she is insane you know um, and I see the improvements and I think massive massive credit to her for keeping up with it but when you then see her on stage it's just mm. not what I've been seeing in the in the check-ins for for a lot of reasons and that's totally fine you know a lot of people will look a little bit smaller on stage you know under those yeah. eyes versus their check-ins because there's a whole host of things going on so it'll be mm-hmm. interesting to see how she actually is up against these girls who like you said are more mus- muscular she looks yeah. like she's built a fair amount here to kind of keep up with them mm-hmm. um so it'd be really interesting to say but yeah she is very very consistent and I don't think she uh I don't think she'll be out of the top five this no. year um no. at all. I really really don't um no. and she she's a the, petite um, frame yeah. yeah yeah well was there any other check-ins sorry that i that, did she post and none of them are posting that many check-ins no they're not That's have you noticed, noticed that yeah. everyone's so secretive show us the goods yeah we literally to... we want i know to they're making our yeah, lives so difficult <laughs> yeah Actually, I don't know, funny one it's she... not a recent one two and a half weeks out yeah so she's um... an interesting athlete I think like I, I always say you know fair play to her for like keeping up I don't know again if you ladies watched that video she did with Adam where they were looking back 10 years ago when she won the Olympia like the posing yeah. oh my <laughs> so god so different like just Mental. how much she's changed is insane and obviously like I do think she's a good ambassador for the sport do I agree with everything her and Adam think no but you know I do think yeah. generally she obviously loves bikini and I think that's you know you can tell yeah, it's but admirable in itself yeah I to me it's her po- like it's her posing, posing. yeah like posed. I yeah. Per- I know that they always say like oh the judges haven't given us feedback on posing I feel uncomfortable when I watch her I'm like it's just yeah. not it, yeah, it doesn't yeah, come exactly. as easy does it you can tell yeah, yeah. yeah. like you compare this to the likes of Daraja when you're looking at it like there you can see it it's night and day um so, so when she says about that posing thing I I don't really understand it because it is like we all notice it on the on the podcast as well I do think there is improvements though this year in terms of her fluidity and all those it doesn't look as awkward but yeah. again it's also different when you're on stage you know and yeah. the nerves kind of kick in and all that kind of thing so um yeah, it's just it's a little less that. fluid, isn't it? Like it's a little yeah. bit more clunky. And we've spoke about it before in terms of like their identity on stage. You know, you're watching Ashley because her posing isn't quite as, I don't want to use the word professional because she is a professional athlete, but it doesn't come as naturally and it doesn't flow. And it's not a, I would liken sort of Maureen's to very much like a stage performance, a dancer coming on, doing their dance, leaving, and you know mm-hmm. exactly when mm-hmm. they're, when they start and they finish. I think Ashley brings a lot of her personality. She's a bit, she's a bit funky. She loves it. She does it because she enjoys it. Um, she stays lean. She diets. She she's permanently in stage condition because she absolutely thrives in being in that condition so Mm -hmm. yeah it's just it's it's her quirk and you either love it it's a bit like mama you either love it or you don't all the time yeah Yeah. absolutely i agree um so sorry jade what was your yeah so for me first first place i I, maureen i'm not going to discount um laurely either i think she could she's she's going to be a dark horse i know that's her like yeah. little caption yeah. on instagram but i do think laurely could swing in um first second or third i'd put her um am i definite on my predictions at this moment in time no i'm really uncertain because there's that many people that have shown up um that i just think you, you could take it maureen for me is the winner i, I just yeah. don't know how she could go wrong um Laurely <laughs> should have done this for each other. it's a cool way of looking at it <laughs> yeah Maureen I think will take it I think she'll she'll take the second title personally mm-hmm. um and then I think battle for second uh Laurely Jen or Amy I wouldn't be surprised if Jen comes in and takes second um okay. yeah and so then yeah Raja I'd say the Raja, Raja I'd say Amy fourth Deiraja okay. fifth, Ashley yeah. sixth. Yeah. Okay. Solid. Yeah. I'm surprised you have Deiraja at a lower place than last year. See, I love her. I, I absolutely adore her physique, but I think from a 
looking at extremes, I think Amy, if 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 it was a de- direct sort of um sort of comparison against Amy and De, de Raja, I think Amy would win it. Yeah, I think I Amy's really got in tune with her body in terms of understanding what the judges want from her mm-hmm. um because she has got a lot of density through that front quad and um, that that's from like history and like sort of years and yeah. years of sort of competitive Dancing, cheerleading yeah, and things cheerleading. yeah um but i think they've they've re- they've really got it down to a t in terms of looking uh, or bringing or delivering what um the judges wanted and you take take her wins this year in the new york pro the pittsburgh pro the prestigious titles they're huge um so discounting her would be um a bit of a a, a miss misstep for me um so put, pitting her against Eraja, i think amy would win it um jen I, I i could even flip third and fourth i could even put amy yeah third, that's what i jen have fourth. actually yeah yeah i actually have because, amy top three yeah, because from the back Again, Amy's incredibly full. Like that upper out of glue, the shape, and um, sort of the tie-ins from the back. She's not too quad dominant. And Jen was doing something really funky with her posing last year, if you remember as well. Yes. So yes. I don't know whether she's see how her. she fixes that. Like, see, the Be thing is, is like when we talk about consistency, like mm. we have the athletes that we know they're going to pose in a certain way. We can expect their condition, you know. Um, and then there's athletes that you just don't know, you know, what yeah. the improvements are going to be. And with Jen, I know her posing has been a big one and just her fullness and condition. So it's, it's really, it's hard to, to read what she's going to be like this year. Like we know that Maureen is going to come in full and bubbly. Yeah. Like we just yeah. know that. And that's why I'm taking the safe bet of putting her first, because I don't think that there's anything that's going to really throw her off mm-hmm. Um, to be honest with you. um, And then I have Lordly second, because I just think that the fullness thing, even though, you know, I think her and body bio, you know, they, they've done a lot of trial and error, but, Ken, you just don't know. And I just think because she's a taller athlete and you look at all of these girls that we have in the top six, like they're shorter. Um, mm. And I think that she might just stand out and look a little bit more stringy. Like when she is full, like she looks incredible, but against the kind of like sh- shorter, bubblier girls, like it, it is difficult, I think, to, to kind of look at. Um, and that's why I have her her second. I love her and I'm such a big fan of her and I would love her to take first place. Um, but I just think Maureen's physique last year, I saw it when, when she came out on stage and I was like, she's taking it. And I just she's have got- it in my head that it, it's going to be the same. You know, she's going to come out, shock people, whether it's a, a pink bikini or blue one. But um, I think she is just going to shock again with her presence and stuff. Um, and then I really want Amy to get in that top three. I'm a big, yeah. big fan of her physique. Um, I mean, you look at those pictures there, though, as well. The the waistline will be yeah. the determining factor because yeah. that, that's 100%. pretty much the whole, the only thing that would separate. Because that's why I'm not too sure where Jen will fall if Jen comes mm. in on, because Jen's waistline's ridiculous. But this is the thing: is all of their waistlines. When you look at here, they're all so different. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, they and they're all kind of posing different. But if anybody probably has the best waist, it's Jen, mm-hmm. out of everyone. But in terms yeah. of everywhere else. I don't think she she's she's the best. Um, mm. so that's the thing is they all have their own strengths. Um, and it's just about yeah. who who fits it all and takes all the boxes in the day. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's Jade. You and I are quite similar, so be interesting to see who who takes it. Um, <laughs> as is Rachel's I mean, going in with Laura Lee with the win. Yeah, literally. It, 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 I know she's awesome. getting. She's got a big. Yeah, yeah, she's got a big um a big fan base behind her, you know, people think and even Adam, you know, who knows bikini through and through thinks she's gonna take it. I don't think Adam has ever really put her her first. No. Um and put Ashley even so low down his predictions. I think he had Ashley maybe like fourth or fifth. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's interesting to hear that that he was like straight up thinking that that Laura Lee is going to take it. So she's um, the most popular athlete. I mean, at the yeah. meet and greet last year, she was the only one with a line of the bikini girls. Like nobody yeah. else had a line. Yeah, it was like a twenty five minute wait. I mean, I would <laughs> be in that twenty five minute. Line. I was in there. I, was in there. <laughs> I waited, but like no one else had a line. I mean, the only other people that had lines were like Chris Bumstead and uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be in that the... line too. Yeah, I, it was two hours. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have two hours to wait for Bumstead so it's like now I have like, the rest of the my life <laughs> the rest of my life money. can take it <laughs> he said his parents waited in line to meet him I don't know if you guys saw that that oh, was real stop. his oh, parents got in line and waited oh. to meet the, him I thought that was so sweet um, <laughs> but yeah like it's, she is crazy 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 popular and yeah. like when she came on the stage like uh, lots of cheering in the crowd so it will be very very interesting to see how she does and I mean Maureen kind of 
negative last year was around her ribs and the fact that she's like really flaring her rib Flare. cage. But yeah. I saw her saying that she had a broken rib or something for the last like three wow. years and she's fixed it. And so hopefully okay. that that solves that problem. But, yeah, you know, I feel like she's maybe coming in even better this year than she did last yeah. year. So if Laura Lee and Kim can nail mm-hmm. it, it's going to be very, very interesting yeah just yeah. I think they'll work I them very hard I do think they're going to work them hard because I don't think the judges are going to have an easy time not that they ever do but mm-hmm. there was a few disparities last year like Jen for example and then Laura Lee just came in too she was too flat really like too lean too hard too flat Janet was the same um so I think unless they do something drastically wrong I think they're going to have a hard time this year yeah yeah definitely oh i cannot wait guys have we got our um what is it pay what's the thing called pay-per-view pay-per-view oh yeah hopefully the quality is good Um, i'm gonna be sat on rachel's instagram waiting for it to go live i'll go live oh yeah literally (laughs) do we know what time it is like what time they're gonna be on i know it's only tuesday but bst you don't need to worry about the time was it in Orlando is... last year or Vegas? It was Vegas, wasn't it? It was Vegas last mm-hmm. year. Vegas last year. And I think it was about three or four o'clock in the morning um, in Vegas last year. And I know LA is sort of similar time, kind okay. of. Not yeah, a million yeah. miles away, maybe an hour. Um, right. So, yeah, around like finals especially. So, obviously, we I think we caught like pre-judging during the back end of our UK time. Um, mm-hmm. But finals was because I remember having it on. And falling asleep and setting my alarm around the time that I knew that bikini would be on. And Chris <laughs> Bumstead had just taken the win as well. So I was like waking up oh, at like stop. o'clock in the morning, like, oh. who's won? Freaking oh, out and thinking I'd It's so it. difficult. It's so difficult. We need to be there though next time. Absolutely. Yeah, so you don't have to so worry about fun. that. Oh. It is so much fun. Seeing Chris Bumstead in real life, by the way, is just like insane because he's, just, fed, he's just huge. And the open bodybuilders, like, mm. monsters. So I'm only, I am yeah. sure I'm only five foot two. So I was like. I know, isn't, I know. It's isn't another Chris world, Bond said it? like six foot two or six foot three or something yeah, obscene as well. And the amount of muscle that man's packed on his frame. Oh, like, I know, it's crazy. The beautiful. whole thing. It's such a fun weekend. Um, yeah. So yeah, I would so definitely jealous. recommend going. Gonna be oh, so well, good. everybody is to go and follow you and keep up to date with your story. So get all the behind the scenes for us. Yeah, <laughs> you can be absolutely. like the little backstage bikini podcast, like spy. reporter. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you with a mic, Rach. <laughs> yeah, if there's any gossip, if you hear anything going on, let us know. We'll spill some tea. <laughs> I know, I'm excited. So I um I sat with Phoebe Hagen's uh, boyfriend, Max, last year, and then he ha- obviously was sat with Adam. So I was sort of like listening. <laughs> Oh yeah, what's the peaking protocol? Let us know. Gla- yeah, what's glass like, against the on? wall. Yeah, like listening into them. It's really interesting it. hearing them all talk when they're on stage. Like it is fascinating because they obviously know mm. know the sport so well. So yeah, I'm very very excited. Um, I think there's so many incredible people that could creep up. I know we haven't mentioned Ashlyn, for example. Like yes, she yes. is looking yeah crazy crazy good. Crazy um, good yeah, yeah. Just... Do we think she's going to make the top ten? I, I have yeah. Her in mind. Yeah, yeah, I would do. Yeah, I think Ariana Brothers is going to break uh, top 10 as well. Issa, I know we haven't really spoken about Issa either, but I think from the back, I know how much development she, she's sort of uh, made over the last um, year. But mm-hmm. I think, I don't know whether Issa will be in the top 10. I think it'll be a bit of a, oh, okay. well, maybe. But I, just I think, think there's so many blue corners from the back. I think there's some girls coming in this year that they that may give her a run for her money. Um, mm-hmm. because she just doesn't look as as full from the back as some of these athletes. Um, she's so just be really so extreme. One. Like, yeah. obviously, her physique is insane. Like, when you see EC, you're just like, oh, waist proportions, everything. But mm-hmm. it's too much. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. so. Yeah. To me, if they're saying that they would like the bikini division to be a bit more obtainable and it is like entry level, blah blah blah. Yeah, none of us can look like Issa Bikini because. <laughs> Only Issa looks like Issa, yeah. Yeah, completely like agree. Crazy way. So it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, maybe if she fills out her glutes a bit more, she'll start climbing the ranks again. But I yeah. don't actually have her in my top ten. No, I do love her physique, but I mean, look at her waist. It's like it's just crazy. Yeah. I just don't think she's got the bubble from the back. I think that is what evidently is going to shuffle her down the pack a little bit. What her and James have done this year is is incredible. Like she really has 
made incredible improvements and her front shot her, her front shot's mm. hard to beat like it, it's just impeccable but from the back if you look at the fullness from the back she she gets lost a little bit um and I don't yeah. know whether that's just simply because it's a bit of a difficult one with Issa like she's coming a little bit too sort of soft before and it's hurt her again because she's she's almost coming looking far too big for the criteria because of the extreme nature mm. of her physique as it is um it, it was the year after she won actually there was a big sort of fall from grace if you like in that respect and I know she she really struggled with it um but I think fullness from the glutes it, we, we never know they might have a sort of secret weapon her in the bag and she might huge. come in yeah they have she's really they grown. really have and like yeah. her I know her glutes needed to come up but yeah her actual hamstring and quad sizes and adductors even it's, I don't think up. it's doing it's not no. doing much for her glutes you know if no. anything like she should try and tone that down to make these look a little bit bigger yeah. but her legs look huge here yeah, yeah. I think personally yeah. just it, her adductors compared, as well yeah huh? comparative to her glutes this is and this is That's where it. this is where it gets lost because you're looking at the likes of Deiraja look at Amy from the back look at Maureen from the back I know that the focal point isn't supposed to be one body part but the fullness it, and like sort of the uh, conditioning through the hamstrings and things like that is not too much. And they don't sacrifice that bubble. Mm. They don't sacrifice that pretty muscle look um, by having all of that in play. With with Issa, I think she would have to fill out her frame and it would make her lower half look a little bit too blocky, yeah. a little bit too big um, to compete with the fullness that the likes of Maureen can bring. So it, it's it's all refinement at the end yeah. of the day. They need to pull that quad down though, because that quad the, mm. the quads look quite big from the back. Yeah. Here's me just, telling James like, and Issa what to do. Yeah. But... <laughs> <laughs> they should be listening oh. to us, giving them all this gold. I mean, I think with Issa, she needs to get so lean on the bottom that yeah. it makes yeah. her muscle look maybe bigger than it is. Like when yeah. you look at her hamstrings there, they look so wide. Mm. But I wonder if that's just, just because all she's leg. so lean. Yeah, so so lean so it's yeah. like you know almost too far um yeah. mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. to get the tie-ins to show but I mean yeah. she is incredible she's yeah, incredible and I do feel for her well. I honestly I think you know it's not it's not easy being a champion and no. then going down you know and not no. keeping up with it um no. and I'd say that's such a difficult thing you know is is being the best and having this, you know, all that hype around you from 2019 and then just slowly trickling down. And now yeah. she's not in your top 10. And I'm like, no, no, <laughs> so many, yeah. out, you know, and it's just like, like you said, there's just so many brilliant athletes coming up like mm -hmm. Ashton who are really making the improvements and just yeah. just did it better. And like you said, Ariana as well. Um, and the other and girl, Raywana, Raywana oh, yeah. as well, Raywana. like brilliant, like beautiful physique. So, yeah. um, but yeah, what, sorry, Phoebe, before we go. Phoebe, yeah, um, big shout out to Phoebe for being there again. Like I just, like her showing last year, breaking top 10 in her first Olympia as well. And the development, I know we said on the last Olympia review, she actually commented and messaged us, didn't she, Grace? Just to say that we'd got the feedback bang on, which was crazy. Yeah. Um. But Phoebe has grown a lot. I know her, I think she placed fifth, didn't she? Um. Mm -hmm. In the most recent show. So I don't know whether it was a conditioning thing for her, maybe there. So I actually started her watching her too. YouTube, um, mm -hmm. but I needed to catch up with the feedback. But I don't I did think she was all that happy. Was she, I don't think she no, was happy she... with it, was she? No, she said that her she basically peaked the Friday and then the Saturday just woke up and was sort of two and a half pounds up from her weight. Yeah. Um, she was carrying a lot of water from obviously going Vegas to Florida. She mm -hmm. said that she woke up like in the middle of the night. Um, oh, and it, I okay. think then the stress probably set in That's and right. I think she started to just look not great. So yeah. I think the feedback was about being a bit more conditioned, a bit tighter. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like Little she CD. just had a couple of really, she had a really oh, good day, the day before the show. And then it all sort of started to, you know, get a bit much, mm -hmm. bless her. But I love Phoebe. Yeah. I really hope that I, I really I've still got her, her in well. my top 10. I just yeah, think, I think yeah. she'll break it again. I Me do. Too. Yeah, I do. make improvements. The glute, the glutes, like the density oh, she's got and the glute ridiculous. growth there is incredible holy lord i yep. just i haven't seen any i can't see anybody like that on the stage with this kind of glute fullness mm -hmm. and bubbliness you mm -hmm. know and because of her height like she just holds it so well like it's it's actually insane it's, it's genuinely mm -hmm. insane one of the maddest glutes i think on that olympia stage like 100 yeah. percent 
they they are brand new as well i mean like don't get me wrong she came in looking phenomenal last year but she has she's put i'd argue a couple of pound on yeah in, in, well, at least a pound in tissue like at least mm. i'd be surprised to to see what her actual stage weight is like the difference i know mm. it's fluctuates in terms of conditioning but um she she's grown into her physique this year and they said the feedback from last year was that she could grow she yeah. had remit and um sort of movement in that respect especially coming up against the shorter sort of more condensed athletes um mm-hmm. that there was scope there but she she certainly done that i can't wait to see her up there oh, really i really hope she does such well an inspiration yeah. i love she her really, really um, is I love her outlook on things as well. Like I like that she lets herself gain weight in the off season and she talks about how much she enjoys it. And, you know, she sort of, we say balance, but you know, whatever she, no, she, she enjoys it, herself. Yeah. Yeah. So I just think what a, what an ambassador for the sport, like showing younger people yeah. or just, you know, amateur athletes coming into it, that it's okay to yeah. put mm-hmm. a bit of weight on. You don't have to be, you don't have to be six pounds. She's so stage honest. Weight. Yeah, so I, I just it. really love her. Um, really like her attitude yeah. really like her outlook i hope she's in the top 10 i've got her in mine yeah um i love her physique she's very statuesque yeah. stands yeah. out against some of the other because i think a lot of the uh higher placing athletes at the moment are shorter she really stands out from that perspective so mm-hmm. yeah fingers crossed, I hope she's not putting too much pressure on herself you know like and it, well, last year was her first olympia wasn't it yes it was yeah seven, yeah so she was qualified at the like, honor, wasn't she at the uk it. So yeah. it's like you know she's got seventh in her first olympia and i'd say she probably is dealing with a little bit of, of pressure you know behind mm-hmm. the scenes being yeah. the only uk athlete you know having get got seven in the world and, and i was just so so happy with that so it's like maybe there's like fear that anything less than that is is awful you know because only all the athletes they all want to just do better and better and you know crack the top five and then top three so it's that worry that you're going to do worse than your first showing at the olympia so i hope she's not putting too much pressure on herself and she knows that uh, we're all here to back her and we've all loved watching her journey and her progress and everything. And um, awesome, yeah, same. she's going to do amazing. Yeah, incredible. She'll, amazing. she'll do it. At the end of the day, she's so hard. Yeah. She's such a, like, she's... like the business as well and, you know, doing the podcast and it's a lot, you know, it really, really is a lot of work for a pro to do um, to yeah. have that business and everything she does. So she's such an inspiration. She's I carrying the mantle cool. for us bikini girls out there, you know, like yeah. she's a UK athlete. She was the first UK athlete to break top 10 yeah. prior to Samson coming third the same year. So that that's such a massive, it, I can only imagine how much of a responsibility that must feel mm. like, but Phoebe, if you're listening, like it's it, yeah, go out you. there and enjoy yourself. Like you're, you're representing the UK and we're damn proud of you. So yeah. And her and Phoebe it, Godwin, shout out to Phoebe Godwin. All the Phoebe's. Too. Yes. Hello, Phoebe Goodwin. What a legend. Yeah, I love that. Phoebe's. I love the two of them together. So, so cute. Massive represent it. It's so nice seeing the UK bikini scene being represented. Like yeah, in the US. It's, you know, it's one of those things we don't see many of our kind of athletes going over there. So I hope more people mm. do. Obviously, yeah. the Phoebe's representing for us. So, yeah. Yeah, incredible. Keep it up, girls. Up. Incredible. <laughs> yes. Amazing, amazing. Well, guys, that was incredible i can't i want to hear what everybody listening thinks Mm -hmm. so if you've been watching on youtube please be sure to comment who you think is going to take us take it and we'll have uh, a little friendly debate um over it all yeah but look we are what four days out three days out from uh from an incredible show but um yeah is there anything else you want to wrap up with no huge good luck to everybody competing yeah all the hard work and thank you so much Rachel for for coming on to join us thank you for having me enjoy the Olympia we'll be glued to your stories and whatnot but have an absolute ball and uh, thank you so much guys for listening and we'll catch you in the next one thank you bye